Here are five things that happen when God is speaking to you about someone. And if you haven't heard, I just opened enrollment for my relationship training courses at AGW University. I designed these biblical courses specifically for Christian singles who want to be married one day. Whether you're in your 60s or your 20s, I give you a biblical blueprint that you can then apply to your life that will help you meet the person God may have for you in the most effective way possible. So this information is really for those of you who've enjoyed these videos, but you wanna go even deeper. And that's just not possible to do here on YouTube. So I offer this to those of you who really want that extra training with me. For more information about these courses and the one-on-one -on -one email coaching with me, the scholarship and all the other bonuses I haven't even mentioned yet, make sure you click the link in the description of this video before the deadline passes by. Number one, God is talking to you about someone when you see indications in this person's life that are mentioned in scripture. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I use the word signs a lot. And when I use that word signs, it means evidence for what God wants you to do. Personally, I use the word signs because that's the word most other people use and people know what I mean when I say it. But another word we could be using is the word indications. An indication is a piece of information that indicates something. In other words, it's evidence. When you have a sore throat, that's an indication you're sick. When your mouth is dry, that's an indication you need some water. When your mouth is watering, when you look at some food, that's an indication you want to eat it. So in scripture, God has told us about many indications that help us assess people. For example, in Galatians 5, we have the fruits of the Spirit, which is an indication that someone is walking in the Spirit. And then we also have the works of the flesh, which when you see those actions is an indication that someone is not walking in the spirit, that they're walking in the sin nature. Through studying someone's actions and then comparing those actions to what scripture says, you will know what God is saying to you about someone. Number two, you will know what God is telling you about someone when you feel a conviction or a confirmation when you pray about this relationship with this person. So we always need to start with the word of God because when we don't, we can easily mishear God. If you ever sense something or feel something in prayer that doesn't align with scripture, that means that you're mishearing God because he's never going to contradict himself. With that said, we also need to be really careful as Christians that we don't confuse the Trinity as Father, Son, and Holy Scriptures. It's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And when you read the Scriptures, it's very clear that God has promised to guide us through His Spirit. When you quiet your heart before the Lord and you pray about your relationship with someone, the Spirit will guide you. He will give you a conviction about something not good, confirmation about what is good, or the wisdom to know when you just need more information before you can make an informed decision about this person. Number three, God is talking to you about someone when things happen that are outside of your control, but those things directly answer the questions that you had about this person. If you're wondering and praying about, does this person like me? And then that person out of the blue shares their feelings with you and you know says they do like you, that's a clear sign God is answering that question you had. Or maybe you're wondering if you should get to know someone at work because you're romantically interested in that person. And then you learn that they quit their job, move across the country and marry someone else. That's a clear sign from God that that's not what he wants you to do. He doesn't want you to pursue that person. As Romans 8, 26 through 28 states, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Number four, God is talking to you about someone when trustworthy people give you valid information about this person. Of course, as Christians, we need to stay away from gossip because that's a sin. But the scriptures do encourage Christians to help each other in all aspects of life, and that does apply to relationships. You have a much better chance of getting into a good relationship and avoiding bad relationships 
when you're willing to include other people in your decision-making processes, whether it be through a trusted mentor encouraging you that this person is good for you, whether it be through a good friend warning you to take it slower, or whether it be through church leaders publicly disciplining someone, God will often speak to you about someone through other people. And number five, God is talking to you about someone when reality contradicts your feelings. Now, feelings really are important. We don't wanna just throw out the whole topic and category of feelings because God does use our feelings to tell us things about what's going on in our hearts. If you feel happy or sad or fearful or courageous, those feelings are telling you important things about the condition of your heart in that moment, so that's really good. But when it comes to relationships, your feelings don't really matter if they contradict reality. Now, we sometimes we need to let reality catch up to our feelings. So maybe you have feelings for someone and the reality doesn't match that right now. But the point is, if reality never matches those feelings, meaning you want to be with someone and that person just never shows any signs that they also want to be with you, or things just keep happening that tell you this is not ever going to be a healthy relationship, but you really feel like this person is the one, then you're going to eventually have to accept God's answer as being through reality, not through your feelings. Likewise, on the flip side, there could be really positive things you see in this person, but because of past trauma, you feel like they're going to betray you. So eventually, if this person is just keeps being trustworthy, they keep showing you healthy signs, but you feel something negative about them, like you're gonna get hurt, and that's really rooted in past relationship wounds, then again, you have to go with reality that you're seeing versus following your feelings that are rooted in a past event that's not connected to reality right now. God is sovereign, which means what happens in reality is under his control and thus it is a part of God's will for you. Therefore, to know what God is saying, you have to accept reality. And if you're a Christian single person, who does want to be married one day, and you want to use this season of singleness right now to prepare well for that future marriage God may have for you, then I created AGW University specifically for you. In these courses, you'll learn how to heal from past relationship wounds, how to move on from someone that God doesn't want you with, how to know who God does want you with, and how to prepare for the future relationship God may have for you. For more information about this unique opportunity, along with one-on-one -on -one email coaching with me, a scholarship, and a lot of other bonuses I haven't mentioned in this video, just for the sake of time, feel free to click the link in the description of this video to learn more. I'll see you over at AGW University. God bless.